Hi, we're in front of Gold's Gym in Venice, California with Anthony Clark. Anthony, we have a lot of questions we'd like to ask you. Okay. What's the best bench you've ever done? I've done 725 regular grip bench in the gym, and uh, that's about, as officially, I've done 664, and I just set a new world record in the reverse grip of 701. Do you think you can get to 750? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of time and a little bit of hard work. I'm pretty sure I'll get to you know, because I want to be the first man to bench press 800 pounds. So I think I can with a little bit of hard work and diligence in there. What about your other lifts? What do you think your best, your well, best other lift is? My best lift is a squat, too. I've done 1,025, and then um, I'm getting ready to try to break another world record, hopefully a world record total in uh, November. So uh, everything's going again. I think maybe I can be the first man to do 1,100 pounds officially. So you have such phenomenal numbers. How'd you get started in this? Well, how I got started in this, you know, believe it or not, I was a skinny little kid that got beat up all the time. And then, and then you know, not, a, not only at school, I had to face a dilemma of getting beat up at home. So I was physically abused. And so those things had kind of turned me around. You know, when I started weightlifting, my, my steam started changing around. You know, I carried myself a little bit better. But still at home, I had to, had to conquer those things at home. But and you know, to let, let you know a little bit about it, I tried suicide three times, and then, and then all of a sudden, you know, I didn't know where I was. I didn't know who to talk to. And I still weightlifted, but that that was just a, just to try to fill some kind of void, a personal void. But I had something else that was happening in my life. So, how did powerlifting or weight training sort of help you pull yourself together? Well, it pulled myself together by you know, uh, by setting some stability in my life. You know, a lot of people have the ability, but no stability. So, and that's what the basis was for my powerlifting, and that's how I got there. And by, you know, you know, putting God in my life and my powerlifting, and, you know, God's gave me a gift, and so that's the way it happened. Now, powerlifting is like a, a motor vehicle to, to show people what, you know, uh, how powerlifting can enhance your life and to better it. How do you support this, this uh this incredible list. Tell us about your training and your eating. Okay, I train like five days a week and I try to eat as much as possible. You know, and you know, by you know, by being a big power lifter, you have to have a lot of food and a lot of food intake to compensate the workload. And the thing is that, you know, it takes a lot of money too. By by getting with this company called Token Enterprise, they help me create that stress free environment that a lot of a lot of other power lifters don't have. You know, because they got to work eight hours a day, and then they got to go through their, you know, their everyday uh, uh, essentials, and then they got to work out. So it's it's kind of like a hit and miss situation. Is there anything special that you eat or that you don't eat? No. Okay. Used to a long time ago, I used to thought more is better, and doesn't matter what it is, it's better. You know, but now I try to eat quality food as well as quantity. You know, a lot of proteins, a lot of carbohydrates, and try to cut out the fats. You know. If you were going to advise someone who's interested in, in powerlifting, either from a beginner standpoint or someone who's been doing it for a while, what would you tell them to do? Okay, first of all, take it slow. Create a base, you know, because you have to have a foundation to build upon that, you know, base. So the thing is that you want to take it slow and, and do it at a balance, not just go in there, you know, head first and then, you know, slap it together and then next thing you know you're getting injured all the time because you didn't create that base. So take it slow and work and work slow. Have you had any big injuries? I've had a couple injuries, but not really the, not really to hamper me out of a, a situation. I had some kind of tears and strains, but matter of fact, I go to the chiropractor five times a week. And to I, I recommend this because if you're doing big lifts, you're going to get sore, you're going to break your muscles down, and you're going to have some adhesions and some uh, trash in your body, toxins. So what I do is go and get massage therapy every day. And you work so hard and you pay so much attention to training. How do you relax? Uh, I don't relax. I mean, it's just because I know it's business. And then, but I, I, you know, I relax by going to, you know, helping kids out and talking to kids and, and being around good people. That's my relaxation. And going to church. And I have fun. Being around good people. Anthony, you're such a, you're so well known in powerlifting. What do you see the sport doing in the next five years? Okay, I see the sport prospering. Okay, if we, you know, we have so many federations, as you know, and the thing is that if we can come out to a basically a good agreement and nobody fighting, you know, the the sport of powerlifting can be a household name. Everybody can if they self promote themselves, and that's what I've done is try to promote the self, you know, promote powerlifting, promote me, 
and to try, you know, because it is a good sport. The camaraderie that we have in powerlifting is not the bickering fighting that they do in having bodybuilding. But so, and if you look at powerlifting as a whole, it's a good sport.